In today's video, I want to take a look at the new operator and how it works behind the scenes. So to start things off, I'm going to actually use the ES5 way to declare a sort of class. Okay. Uh, so if you don't know what those are, you can take a look up top. I made a video on that previously. And the basic gist of it is instead of having a class, we start with a function. So we start with a function and that function is going to be our constructor for the class that we're creating. Let's say I want to create a class uh, shape, right, again, and that shape is going to have again x and y, right, and then I'm just going to set it to this dot x equals x, this dot y equals y. So this is going to be our uh, class constructor. Fair enough. And if I want to create a shape, what I do is just let sh equals new shape of, let's say, I don't know, 5 and 10. Why not? I'm going to also add a line of code here that just kind of console logs our shape. But don't worry, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to take a look at the logs. Uh, it's just there due to a bug in the, in the debugger here. So I'm going to just add a breakpoint here. And if I try to run this, we can take a look in the debugger at our shape. So simple enough, our shape is of type well, shape and it has X and Y set to 5 and 10 respectively. So that works. That's very nice. Uh, we can do the same with uh, ES 2015 classes. That also works. The question is, why can't we just call the construct instead of saying new function? Well, if we do this and try to run it, you'll notice that our shape is undefined. So definitely the new operator does something behind the scenes. Now the question is what? And can we actually simulate it? Well, the answer is yes, we can actually simulate that new operator using a function. So if we try to create a function that simulates the operation of doing new shape, it's going to go something like this. So first we're going to create a function, let's call it new simulated. All right. And in here, we're going to do whatever the new operator does with any function. The new operator, what it does, as you might notice, is that it does something with the this operator. All right. So if, if you take a look at the this, well, value, it's actually an empty object whenever it enters the constructor. So the first step is to actually create that new object. So we're going to say here, let, I'm going to call it just obj equals a new object. So that's the first, the first step. And then you might notice that it calls this shape function, but it also says that this uh, value to be this new create this newly created object. So it does uh, basically call shape, right, with our parameters, suppose it's 5 and 10, but it also sets the this uh, value. So to do that, we're going to have to use the call function on this function. The call function is nice because it also gives us uh, access to the this parameters. We can actually set uh, the this value inside our function that we're calling. And we can say here shape.call not with whatever this you're giving it, give it the, o the new OBJ that has been created. So that's amazing. And then lastly, usually what it does is just return that object, right? So it goes return object, right? And now we can technically call this new simulated instead of our, uh, instead of using our new operator. So we can say here, uh, new simulated and I'll also pass the parameters properly to here. What I'm going to do is just use a destructuring format so that we can actually take as many arguments as we want. Then we just pass them along to the call function because the call function, what it takes from, so the first argument is the this argument and then the other arguments are just basically, uh, all the arguments that are going to be passed to the function itself. Right, so if here we give it 510, we get here 510, we pass that along to our call function and that gets uh, passed here as x to be 5 and y to be 10. So that's very nice. Now, if we run this, you'll notice our sh is almost the correct uh, value. So we have x being to five, being set to five and Y being set to 10. So that's, that's perfect. We don't have anything in the prototype though. So it doesn't know about this constructor function, doesn't know about anything that we have set to the prototype of this class. So this is an issue. 
So aside from this, uh, what the new operator does is after creating the object, it also sets the prototype of that object to be the new, the constructor's prototype. So we have to say here object dot set prototype of, I'm going to pass in here first the object we want to set the prototype of, that's obj, obj not obs, and the prototype is going to be our shapes prototype, right? So this the shape the prototype. And there we go. And now if we try to run this, you'll notice the debugger actually knows that it's of type shape. And if we go here, we're going to get the, the constructor function that is actually our function here. Now for all intents and purposes, you can actually start using this uh, new simulated as if it was a new operator. Maybe just have uh, the shape constructor function as a parameter. But really there's one more small detail that few people actually know about, about the constructor itself. So the new operator does return this new object most of the time, unless unless we actually explicitly return another object in here. So if you want to control the way we create objects, you can actually do it in here and return a different object than this. If you do so, the result, the return value of this is going to be passed along to the new operator and it's going to be actually assigned to, to that uh, value. So in our new simulated function here, we have to actually treat that case. So I'm going to have to take the result uh, of that function. So I'm going to say here, let result equals this. And I'm going to actually have it like this. Um, and then we're going to check. And this result only returns when it's not a primitive and not null. So if type of result equals equals an object in as a string, then it returns the res instead of the obj, the newly created object. And as you might know, the type of operator really returns object also for null types. But if res is actually null, we should return the new object. So I'm going to say here, if uh, res is not equal to null and type of res is an object. Okay, so I hope this makes sense. Right, so now if we try to return a value here, for example, let's return a new a random object. Let's say z equals, I don't know, x plus y. Okay, if we, if we somehow do that and run it, you'll notice we get our object with the z property. This will be equivalent to doing new on that function. So if we try to use new instead, new shape, 5 and 10, you'll notice it will still be getting that object. So now really you can use this new simulated function instead of the new operator on the shape function. To recap, what it does is first create an empty object, then it binds the prototype of our constructor to that object. Otherwise we wouldn't get the type, we wouldn't get the uh, functions, the methods that object should have. So of course we need to do this. Then, well, it takes in the result of that constructor. And if the result is uh, not, an, not a valid object, then it just returns the newly created object from here, right? That was passed along to the constructor in here as the this uh, value. Now, of course, with the newer syntax, with the class syntax for creating classes in the years 2015 and onwards, this is a non-issue because, well, you cannot actually call the constructor without using the new operator. So if I try to run this with the newer syntax, well, notice that I don't get the breakpoint because we actually get an error saying that the class constructor shape cannot be invoked without new. Okay, so uh, with the newer syntax, it's actually checked whether or not you're using call or you're using new, the new operator. But behind the scenes, this is just syntactic sugar. And really this is what happens even with the newer uh, class syntax. So if we use the newer syntax here for classes and we call the new operator like anybody else would, if we run this, 
of course it's gonna work right but if we don't add the new operator and try to call the well shape which is really the constructor of that class due to the syntactic sugar if we try to do this you'll notice I don't even get to the breakpoint and if I go to the error log it's again gonna say that the class constructor shape cannot be invoked without new so due to the new syntax we need to use the new operator now. Now there are some minor details that I probably have omitted, uh, especially regarding this uh, condition, but it's very, very minor. It's probably not exactly like this, checked if the result is not null and of type object, but uh, the documentation wasn't really clear on that. And most people are not gonna return a value inside the constructor. That's very, very non-standard, okay? So, I think that's okay with us. I hope you learned something out of this. If you do have any questions, do leave them down in the comments below or on our Discord server. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.